In order to start with post sourcing, we have a small function here, which is an entry point function of the client script. I just have a small console.log, which actually gets triggered whenever the post sourcing happens on any field. So let's take an example of sales order. When you select a customer in the sales order, automatically the customer related information like sales rep and few other information like subsidiary gets sourced in your sales order. So when this sourcing happens, so post sourcing of some particular field, if you want to do some kind of operation, you can use this post sourcing. So this post sourcing function has one parameter called a script context, which has an access to your current record and also it can access your sublist ID and the field IDs. So to get started, I have already uploaded this particular code in Netsuite. And if I go back to Netsuite, so this is the script and I can see the post sourcing function detected by the Netsuite. The client script has been deployed on sales order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the sales order and I'm going to click on function F12 to open my console. Now let's say, as I said before, if I select the customer, automatically the subsidy gets sourced. And even if you see the items, I, I don't have any list of items now. Along with that, even sales rep, not being selected here right so when i select customer automatically the post switching will get triggered selecting dbc marketing inc and on the right hand side in the console you can see post sourcing has been triggered on price units and if i just scroll up i can see it on terms item level and if i just scroll down completely i can see it on entity as well the post sourcing has been triggered and also even on item now if i just scroll down i can see the sales rep has been sourced with the value called Ironman, which means the, this customer has a sales rep called as Ironman. If I just come down, I can see the subsidy is also so. Let's say I'm selecting this particular item from this list. I can see the quantity or the description, the price level will get sourced automatically. On the right hand side, we can see the price is getting set, units is getting set, item is also getting sourced. If I just scroll right again, unit price is also getting sourced with some value. Right now, if you see the closed column level field is not checked. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a small requirement whenever the item is getting selected here or whenever the item is getting sourced here post sourcing of this particular item in this line level i want to make this line as closed so let's say i'm going to add a if condition which is uh, if the context is sublist id which is item sublist id and if the field is nothing but item so post sourcing of this particular item selection i want to make that closed column as true so i'm going to write the small code it says uh, script context dot current record and set that current sublist value which is nothing but that particular current line and this is the field id of closed so i'm making that as true by default as of now it is like not closed i'm going to upload this code back to netsuite if i go to script and start creating one more fresh sales order on top of that i'm going to open my console just to make sure the post is getting triggered so let's select the customer now you can see the post is getting triggered on the back end and let's select the item post sourcing this particular item we have done a code that which sets that closed value to true we can see the post sourcing has been triggered on item field now let me close this console now let me just scroll right and see whether the is closed is set to true so this confirms our script has triggered and it has set this closed true value which is the checkbox has been checked 